myself very well. I uh, was kind of boxed in throughout the entire race and finally had a really good opening with the last probably like 120 meters and I was kind of able to finagle, finagle my way through. And uh, the last 50 meters I kind of put on this burst and was able to part of the second place. Did you just wait for the last 400? I, I was trying, I was trying to get out of the box, but unfortunately I was boxing the entire time and I felt that the best decision was to stay in, in the on the inside and waste as, le as little energy as possible. And um, that kind of played in my advantage, but it was also kind of, uh, uh, I guess it was a double-edged sword, because I, I was towards the front, but I was boxing. Uh, you have a strong now. You can get out of the I, I usually, I usually do, except for, to, except for today. Uh, How crazy was that last three and three? It was every, everybody was there. Everybody was there. There was a guy, uh, the Oregon guy. I, I, I believe it's like the second time I raced him. He, he, uh, he, he ran really well, and he was right up there. And uh, it was one of the reasons why I couldn't get out. <laughs> Leo, you know, I haven't had stellar time so far this year, yeah. but in the prelim and in this race, you assert yourself right in the front. Was there any? Was there any anxiety doing that? You know, I, I have really, I strong, I have strong confidence in my training. Within the last uh, really six weeks after Prefontaine, I, uh, you know, I used a lot of that, uh, I guess, ne negative, uh, I guess, you know, after, after Prefontaine, I had a really bad race, and I went back, really back to the drawing board, like, okay, what do I need to do? And uh, it was really just the focus and mentality. So I, I brought, I brought to practice this uh, strong mentality where I was going to be there, I was going to do everything exactly the way I needed to, uh, and then bring that to the uh, to the race, and that's exactly what I did. There's a lot of things hanging over the season. Yes. A, a silver medal, you know, you're, you're, fit, you're looking look for a sponsor, right. but you were able to shake all those off come, yeah. come USA Times. How are you able to do that? Well, you know, at the end of the day, what I'm going to say is that first, I, I, you know, I, I represent the U.S. and my country, and then uh, my friends, and that's really what keeps me going. That's all I really need at the end of the day. Of course, money's great to have, but at the end of the day, it's not the most important thing. Yeah, did you come around that home stretch? Was, was there any? Did you, was there almost a smirk on your face, like, man, these guys, these guys left it too late? <laughs> well, I knew, I knew I had a really. Don't good they know burst. by now that they can't wait on you? <laughs> I knew I had a really good burst. I, the only thing that I was a little worried because I just couldn't get out to, to really work it to my full potential. Um, like I said, the last 120 meters, I was pretty much boxed in and found a little kind of outlet where I where I had to kind of jog out to lane four or five to kind of make it happen. But. Uh, I felt really confident in my kid. Leo, you seem to kind of have this tendency, you run a little bit maybe subpar going into a major championship, but you yeah. always show up on the day. Do you do you worry ever like going into it like, man, I haven't ran a fast time yet? But, or do you know what you have that confidence that you peak really well you every know, time? There, there's, a, there's always a little bit of doubt, but I feel like the doubt, that that's what makes you perform to a higher level. So if you don't have a little bit of doubt, you, you're not going to perform. And I, I like to have a little bit of doubt, but at the same time use that doubt to my advantage. Um, and then at the same time use all my bad races as fuel for the fire and bring that fire into the next race and just really pump it out. Leo, it's, it's just missed out on you know you got a silver medal in, yeah. in London. Now you have the USA Championships off your shoulders. What's the goals now for this summer? Hey, uh, I love track and field. I love running. Now I'm ready for some PRs. I'm ready to run fast. And uh, you know, I uh, in October I, after the Olympics, I was just ready to kind of settle down, and take some downtime. Um, I, I did gain a little weight. Uh, I, uh, I I had my tortilla fixing and <laughs> my home, homemade cooking for my mom and. Uh, you know, but now later in uh, November, I, I got to right start getting back into it, and now I've lost a couple pounds, and I'm ready to go. We're rotating you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.